Hello, cookbook friend, and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie, and today I'm excited to check out Mariana Velazquez's cookbook, Colombiana. This is strictly Colombian food. I am very excited. She's a food stylist, so everything is quite phenomenal. The food photography is just out of this world. It's great. So let's check this out. It get, this cookbook gives us different recipes and rituals throughout Colombia, and I'm just, yeah, super excited. So I've never had Colombian food before, and I'm just, yeah, I'm thrilled. This is fantastic. So in the table of contents, we go to La Cocina, Colombian Culture, Cuisine, and Pantry. Next, we go to En La Mañana in the morning. Then we go to the main table afternoon bits and bites we then move on to colombian ish and then lastly of course ode to dessert so very cool we get the page numbers for the beginning of each chapter on the side here so that's very helpful the photography like i said is beautiful we also get insights into colombian culture there's some gorgeous photos from from the country itself but also just old photos, I think, from Mariana's, you know, like her family history. So that's beautiful. Here's a description with tiny little photos of little pantry essentials. That's very cute. I love that. That's awesome. Even when we go into tools, that has some pictures as well. So let's look at morning. And again, look at the photos. It's beautiful. So not every recipe has a photo. Um, but a lot of them do, and when she does, they're just fabulous. So we start off with exactly what the recipe is in the very beginning, and then uh, more on the left-hand side, we've got the actual ingredients. Below the blurb, we have instructions to make the recipe itself, so very, very typical of a cookbook. We have the Spanish uh pronunciation and then we have English translation below so that's very nice beautiful I've never had this before it's a hearty milk and egg soup having a soup in the morning would actually be kind of nice I wish that was more uh, Americanized honestly that we did more soup stuff especially during winter and fall we have a tortica de yuca coco y toronja yuca coconut and grapefruit loaf cake Yum! That looks really good. Hu huevos pericos. So this is scrambled eggs with scallions and tomatoes. Very easy breakfast option. We also have, let's see if I can find some more stuff. Interesting. So it, it has regional menus here. Um, beautiful photography. Winds of La Heroica. Hero Hero a uh, beautiful, uh, God, I want to go visit. This is just phenomenal. Um, here we've got a whole table scene. So I think I remember writing about a blog post about this on our website at cookbookdivas.com, but I remember it potentially saying she gives advice on what kind of table spreads you can do to present a whole host of different Colombian dishes and I think this is an example of that. So we have like a cocktail, we have starters, mains, and a dessert. She also gives you exactly how you should take you should set your table. So for here, it's all about the colorful, colorful colors. Put all the colors on your table. Um, so she said, yes, tropical cliches come to mind, but they exist for a reason. The difference, though, is that it isn't just a mishmash of obnoxious, punchy blues, reds, and oranges. The magic relies on a well-chosen palette of complementary tones. So she actually guides us. This is her food stylist coming out and actually helping us. So this is really helpful and fun if you ever want to create these beautiful table settings and hosts for your friends and family. So that's really cool. So some more recipes, since that's probably why you're here. We have posta negra, so beef beef roast braised in blackened panela. Yum. Wow, that looks really good. This is cute. This is a mammy pie with suerco ice cream. I've never, or suero. I've never had suero. 
before. I wonder what that is. I'm going to have to look that it up. And mommy, I've never had that before. It says you can use persimmons as well as a replacement. So if any of you guys know what that means or what that is, I'd love to know. Probably going to look it up though. We also have more ice cream flavor, uh, ice cream options. Here's lentil chapter. Again, another setting the scene. Again, and this is just beautiful. So let's see what else I can find. We have Tia Lolita's coconut custard. Oh, yum. Beautiful. This is just, so you're going to want to read this cookbook probably from start to finish. You don't want to necessarily nitpick the recipes throughout. She gives you a lot of beautiful advice on how to do a, an authentic Colombian spread. She gives us authentic Colombian recipes and ways of using it and the history associated with it. It's just really fascinating to learn about a culture through food. And this is a perfect example of that. So let's move on to some more recipes. I'm trying to find ones with uh, actual photos. This is strawberry sheet meringue with dandelion cream. That looks good. We have grilled arepitas and tomato coriander jam. Ooh, that looks good. It's almost like a tomato chutney. We have a whole bunch of different recipes throughout, so I know not all of them have photos. I'm kind of bummed about it, but I do love the beautiful table spread she has as well. So we have like a red bean soup with brisket dust, pork belly, sweet plantains, white rice, and aji. And then we have br the brisket dust recipe. She lists everything off here. So you have your whole meal, all the pieces, plus, and then she gives you the breakdown of each one, which is very cool. We have Cafe Con Leche Granita with tiny coconut meringues. Cute. Here's some more gorgeous photos. Here's another table setting. So this is a really cool, unique cookbook with lots of amazing stuff. It's not... So originally I thought this was going to be like breakfast, lunch, dinner, set in stone like every other cookbook. There's a lot of different features in this cookbook, so don't approach it like it's going to be an ordinary cookbook. There's a lot of really cool information about Colombian culture, so you get to learn a lot. So a few more recipes for you guys, and then I'll wrap it up. We have dough for sweet fillings. And she even has, if things are a little complicated, step-by-step -step photos so that you can follow along. That's really helpful, especially for somebody like myself. I get very lost in some of this stuff. Uh, so this is really, really awesome and helpful. And again, here, here's this beautiful, when it's all done and finished, you can eat now. Beautiful. I recommend this book. I've never had Colombian cu cuisine before. And now that we're kind of in the new, almost in the new year, this is a great opportunity to explore other cuisine and cultures through food. So I'm just, yeah, I'm really thrilled. So check out Colombia. Colombiana. This is by Mariana Velasquez. And let me know how it goes. If you guys like our channel, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. If you guys like other or if you want more cookbook content, come join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We also have a blog that you can come join us at where we have a lot of cookbook information. We also do a podcast and we try to publish every Friday. Thank you, go thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry for stumbling around. Thank you for being patient with me. Uh, I hope you guys have a really awesome new year and we'll see you next year.